Hello my cupcakes and welcome back to my channel. It has been so long, too long since I last filmed and I am so sorry about that. Let's just say I suck at scheduling YouTube into my schedules. Yeah. <laughs> Besides my sad and pathetic excuse, I did bring you guys a new foundation review. Yay! Guys, I literally have like piles and piles of new foundations that I really want to do like a full foundation review for you guys. So a couple of weeks ago, I saw on Makeup Forever's Instagram that they just launched a brand new foundation and I'm talking brand new full coverage foundation. So I immediately just had to pick it up because I pick up every full coverage foundations out there that I can find. I was contemplating between two shades but I came down to this one because I thought it was the best. If this doesn't work out, I have a sample size of the one that could work out so we'll be going ahead and using that instead. So this is how the foundation looks like. This is their Matte Velvet Skin Full Coverage Foundation 24 Hour Wear. Now just from the packaging, like the box itself, I feel like I have eye drops this size, you know? what I mean like it's very thin but it actually has full 1.01 fluid ounce so it's pretty much like your typical other foundations like I have foundation bottles that are this big that looks like it has like three ounces but it actually has the same amount as this I actually really like the packaging I like packagings that come in um, little plastic tube bottles like this because it's just easy to travel with it's lightweight you can just squeeze it out and you don't have to worry about like contamination or whatnot so let's get into some details about this foundation now this is a breathable full coverage foundation with a lifelike matte finish that bends and breathes with skin for up to 24 hour wear it is for normal dry combination and oily skin types it never cakes flakes or fades so skin appears natural and vibrant throughout the day this foundation is available in 40 shades and I can already see that it is very like shade friendly here on Sephora's website so I'm very happy about that. Now if you guys are new to my channel or never watched my foundation reviews before, I always apply a primer that I have been using recently so that my reviews don't change. I also apply half of my face using a beauty blender and the other half using a brush. I don't set the foundation using any setting sprays but I do set it down with a powder because I always have and I always will set my foundation with a powder. My skin is normal to combination it's usually just very normal around here and it does get pretty oily around my t-zone and the sides of my nose and under my chin now that all the claims are out there let's just jump right into the application i brought you guys in a little closer so you guys can see better and for my primer i've been loving loving the hello fab coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer by first aid beauty i really do love how it's giving me the extra hydration but it's also priming my skin at the same time so let's just go ahead and apply this everywhere all right i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the foundation now i'm actually really excited because literally i've been looking for a new foundation to try for so long but i didn't want to do it without showing it to you guys so here we are all right i'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze just a little bit out oh and it's very thick as you guys can see that which is very promising i'm gonna go ahead and apply to this side first and let's go ahead and apply with the brush i'm just gonna use about that much for now and brush, like always, we're using the Morphe E6 brush. I always use this brush, you guys. Well, I feel like that kind of disappeared, but I did apply really, really little bit. But, I mean, it did even out my skin right away. I can't really tell the full coverage part yet. I mean, it kind of did settle in very quickly as well, but... That wasn't really like the best first impression, you know? I'm gonna try and apply a little bit more, especially on my forehead since I barely got any on there. Let's try and cover that little thing right there. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Okay, I'd say this foundation is definitely buildable. You can tell the difference right away that it definitely evened out my skin oh i can actually see it matting down right now i don't know if you guys can tell there is definitely less amount of shine here like it's starting to settle in and i hydrated the crap out of my skin so feels pretty good um i can feel 
the foundation settling in, like I said, so I'm gonna give it some time. Coverage-wise, with the brush side, I'd say it delivered like a high medium. Again, I wouldn't say it's like full coverage to the maximum power. It's a pretty good high medium coverage foundation is what I'd say. But let's go ahead and go with the other side. I feel like I'm using a lot for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's because the packaging is so small that I feel like I'm gonna use this really quickly. Let me like spread it out a little. All right, I already damped my beauty blender, so let's just go ahead and apply it. Oh, this side looks a lot smoother, actually. I mean, obviously, the coverage, I think you can kind of see it on camera. The brush side is usually always better with coverage, in my opinion, and the way I apply it. But, oh my gosh, actually, oh, wow, I don't even feel anything on this side. So I am really liking how the Beauty Blender applied. It feels amazing. I, like, don't feel anything, and it already pretty much settled it down. And honestly, guys, this is coming from a person that actually prefers brush application over Beauty Blender. So this is, this is really good. Since I did it to this side, I'm gonna try and build it up just a little bit over here that much and then I'm just gonna see if it's buildable oh yeah I definitely prefer the Beauty Blender side. All right, guys, so the foundation is officially on my face. It is currently 12.55. I'm gonna call it one o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. It is currently 1.25. Real quickly on what's on the rest of my face. Um, once the foundation was on, I went ahead and applied my concealer underneath the eyes. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral. Then I went ahead and set my under eye and the rest of my face very, very lightly because it was already matte. I used the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in Translucent, I believe. It's just original loose setting powder. I've been loving this. Then for my bronzer and blush and my highlight, I wanted to go really subtle because I wanted my eyes to be very glowy and dewy. I don't know, that's just the look that I envisioned today. I used the BA Light Palette by Becca Cosmetics and this is the Light to Medium Face Palette. This as the highlight. This as the contour slash bronzer, like for both, which is why I have this really subtle contour slash dewy glowiness going on. Um, I wanted to use this blush, but it was a little too glowy for me, like on the face. So I went ahead and used the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in Call My Blush. I've been using this like every single day. This is literally like my everyday blush. For my eyebrows, I've been using something new these days. This is the Brow Perfector by NARS in Makassar, which is for Auburn Cool. And I absolutely love the density of the brow pencil because it's a little thicker than your usual um, brow fillers, but it's also thin enough to get into like the outer um, sharp, outer, what is this called? <sighs> Lord Jesus. The outer corner, I don't know. Then this is the new thing that I've been doing recently, which I've been contemplating whether I should film a new updated brow tutorial because this literally like is my favorite. This is the Shape and Shade Brow Tint um, by MAC Cosmetics in Lingering. And oh my gosh, you guys, first of all, on one side, they have the filler, which is something that you can use to fill in your eyebrows. And then on the other side, you have my absolute favorite thing, which is this thing right here. And this pen is so perfect to kind of create those little brow strokes in the front to kind of like fill it in. And it makes like the perfect gradual natural looking brows and been loving this so much. For my eyeshadow, I used the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay. This is how it looks like. I absolutely love the packaging, but the inside is even prettier, you guys. Why is this my first time using this palette? I don't know why. This launched like a couple, like last month or something. I don't know why, but I basically use these two shades right here. I used a little bit of this as well. Then I used um, this one and this one just to kind of like give it some depth on the outer corner. My mascara is my another everyday favorite. This is the Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara by Lancome. I absolutely love the waterproof version because it helps me keep my curls up. And finally, on my lips, I have been loving this formula in pretty much all of the colors in here. This is the Creamy Lip Stain by the Balm Cosmetics, and this is in Salute. 
It's really comfortable to wear and it's really long lasting. So you guys should definitely give this a try. Okay, now about the foundation, I'm gonna just go over it really quickly about what I think about it at the moment. I love it. It feels really amazing for a matte foundation that claims to be very long wearing. Those tend to usually feel very drying. Right now, like, I don't know, maybe it's the Beauty Blender, but it's very thin on my skin, which I absolutely love. And it just looks amazing. It matches my skin literally perfectly so I'm really happy I went with this one I think it's very smooth and soft on my skin it looks very flawless um, and yet it feels very very lightweight on my skin so that's always a plus for a matte foundation like always I'm gonna try my best to wear this foundation for at least like eight to ten hours I usually never wear foundations unless I have to for more than ten hours other than that I'm gonna just go about my day probably watch some Korean dramas or something let me know what you guys are watching by the way because I ran out of stuff to watch so leave it in the comments down below if you guys recommend any new K dramas all right so I guess that's all I have to say now I will see you guys during the midday <laughs> it's like hot and humid so it's really disgusting right now I am actually in the parking lot of my best friend Jane's house. I came to visit her baby, baby boy Cameron, my nephew. She actually lives like not even five minutes from me, so it's really convenient. That's why I'm able to see him so often. Anyway, so I'm back in my car. I'm actually about to head back home. It is currently 521, so it's been one, two, three, four, five, four hours since I first um, applied this foundation. All right, let's take a closer look. So it's actually pretty cool that my face isn't as shiny as I thought it would, especially with the weather being super humid and hot. So that's pretty pretty good actually, it's especially without the setting spray. I am noticing a little bit of dryness like coming through right here. There's a little bit of skin peeling. Uh, I actually don't know why that's happening. I did eat like cookies and cakes. So I don't know if I was like, like licking my lips a lot obviously I don't have anything on my lips anymore because I took it off but um, everywhere else is still pretty good I can kind of see my chin area starting to separate just a little bit not too noticeable especially from far away like when I'm looking at it real close I can see it starting to separate a little bit right here but everywhere else is still good like my forehead is still good my cheeks are still good so that's all for now I'm gonna head home and I'm really gonna try and wear this for four to five more hours um, maybe make it to like the nine hour mark so I'll see you guys at the end of the day Alright guys, I'm back for my final thoughts. It is currently 9.36 at night. I've worn this foundation for close to 9 hours now. I was gonna make it to the 10 hour mark, but I'm actually pretty darn tired. I did a lot today. <laughs> Surprisingly, I was outside walking a lot. Um, I didn't think that I would be, and it was really hot and humid. Today was like 90 something degrees and the humidity was just killing me. Um, so that's a factor that I do have to consider. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look. So the first thing that I like to do is just look at the overall look from a pretty normal distance. And honestly, overall, it doesn't look too bad. And I do see some oil like starting to peek through around my T-zone and forehead, but it's actually not that bad. Mind you, I also don't touch up my makeup at all during the foundation wear test, which is why I'm noticing this chin area is starting to pretty much like separate. But honestly, when I was over at my friend's um, house playing with the baby, I was doing this a lot. So I think that has something to do with it because I was like watching the baby like this, like, mm, you know? The cheeks still look pretty good. It still looks smooth. Surprisingly, the brush side actually looks better. I think it's because I have like a little bit of breakout happening over here. Besides that, like the sides of my nose is usually always my concern area because that starts to kind of like crumple up through the oil production and then it starts to separate or fade away and that is pretty much exactly what's happening. Um, this side is actually a little bit worse than this side. So again, the brush side is actually ending up looking nicer now than the initial application because when I was first applying the foundation, I liked it a lot better with the Beauty Blender. So that's kind of funny now that I'm looking at it. Uh, one other thing that I'm noticing is that it I feel like it oxidized just a tad bit. 
Um, when I was first applying it, it applied a lot lighter, but once it started to settle down, it did oxidize maybe like, like a quarter to half shade darker. So, so I don't want to say that I completely love this foundation. I also don't hate it. I liked it. I definitely liked how it felt on my skin because it really just felt like nothing. So considering all the factors, uh, this foundation I think wore pretty great. I think this is going to be one of those foundations that I'm going to have to try uh, using it with different primers for. Honestly, I think I did like the coverage of this foundation a bit more than the other full coverage uh, long wearing foundations. Honestly, I think all of the cons that I am talking about today has to do with the humidity and the hot weather and me being outside and being active a lot today. So with all of that, I'm gonna try this foundation a couple more times with different primers and under different circumstances. All right guys, that is all for my review today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any requests for a foundation you'd like me to try or just any other suggestions, um, video ideas, just let a girl know in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media handles and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!